advantage. They're the number one team led by Arwin Santos. So let's see how Hinebra deals with this. Ready na ba kayo for Hinebra vs. Petrol? Alright, Hinebra vs. Petrol up next. Good evening PBA fans, lalo na yung mga taga Petroniverse at yung mga taga Barangay sapagkat magbabakbaka na yung mga kapunan na gustong gusto ninyo Petron Blaze Boosters kontra Barangay Hinebra Gene Kings Quarter final matchup po ito, twice to beat ang Petron Hinebra wants to try to stay alive, yung mga players na ready na dyan, handang handa na magbakbakan dito sa gabing ito mula dito sa Mall of Asia Arena and uh, this is the uh, last of four series dito sa ating quarter finals to get underway Eh yung tanong dyan, Petronovela ba ang mangyayari? O Cinderella? Petronovela, eh sabi natin, it's been going on all season. Will it have a happy ending? Cinderella finish ba? Ang gusto ng Barangay Hinebra. Partner ko si Dominico, eh, siya magsasabi sa atin. Ano ba talaga mangyayari ito, partner? Charlie, if you're Petron, walang sinabi yung 8 and 1 mo if you're not able to take it and win the championship. And this is step number 2 para sa kanila. They need to be able to eliminate Barangay Hinebra maybe today or in the next game if Barangay Hinebra force it. If you're Barangay Hinebra, you're holding on for dear life. Napaganda ng linuro mo last two games. You wanna, you wanna be able to force another match so that all of a sudden in equal footing kayo nitong Petron. Pero it's not gonna be an easy task sabagat Petron running smooth talaga ang performance nila. Losing their first game. Then an eight game win streak partner to close out the eliminations. Parang nothing could stand in their way. They had wins of 34 points, 25 points, blowing everybody out. Winning by an average of more than 15 points a ball game. Well, the beauty of Petron, how they're playing, they're not just doing it on offense. Look at the offense right here. Fajardo, an average of 9.3 points. Laster, 12.8. Millsap, 27.6. Santos, 13.2. And Cabagnot, 11.3. Pero hindi lang yan yung ginagawa nila. They are doing it also on defense. What they've done is they've really um, made it more efficient yung kanilang offense because they're passing that basketball, making it look so easy. Like you said, Yung mga numbers nila, it shows that the basketball is so easy for them. Sports 5 Center earlier, sabi ni Afi Taulava, L.A. Tenorio is the key para sa Barangay Hinebra. He just took over no huling laro nila against uh, the Tropang Texas. The general, they call him, uh, while he's here with the Barangay Hinebra Gene Kings. Look at the statistics across the board, partner, he delivered. L.A. Tenorio, 24 points, 6 rebounds, 10 assists, and 3 steals. And with the biggest heart so far, dito sa Barangay Hinebra, really putting his team on his shoulders and carrying them moving to the next level. Sinabi pa nga niya, medyo mayabang pa daw yung pagkasabi niya, sige na, ako na bahala dito. And you know, L.A. Tenorio can definitely back up those words. Pagdating naman dito kay uh, Mark Kagiwa, he knows that L.A. has a big, big art and that he can take over basketball games. So that trust between these two guys is there. Tama yun. And of course, Coach Ato Agustin will rely heavily on Tenorio. Magka-start si Tenorio kasama ni Mark Kagiwa in the backcourt. Dior Lohorn ang kanilang import at center Meyer Hofer and Ellis at the forwards you have Kabagnot and Tubid para naman sa Petron in the backcourt Fajardo in the middle Arwin Santos at Elijah Mills ang kanilang mga forwards action is underway in this quarterfinal matchup between the number 1 seed and the number 8 seed pero kung tingnan mo yun akala mo ang layo ng disparity ngunit alam naman natin that doesn't really matter in this setting right now either team has a chance to uh, get this victory tonight. Jun Marfahar, the unang play sa offensive nitong uh, Petron Blaze Boosters is able to draw a foul. And this guy, Jun Marfahardo, uh, ito foul kay Maya Hofer yan. Fajardo, playing a very solid conference so far, Dom. Well, he's definitely been able to adjust dito sa opensa ng Petron, averaging 9.3 points. And the beauty of Jun Marfahardo, he's not just doing it also on offense, pati dun sa depensa. Alam mo kung gano'ng kalaking bagay yung alam mo pag nalusutan ka, merong isang malaki who will help you out on defense and try to change a shot or even block that shot of that opponent of yours. Aside from the 9.3 points that binanggit mo ang average ni Jun Mar Fajardo, he's also averaging 8.6 rebounds at 1.9 blocks. So, halip dalawang block yan every game as well as all those other shots na na-alter niya pag sumasaksak na yung mga kalaban. Meyer Hofer, nice feed inside. He gets the first two points para sa Barangay Hinebra. 2-1, ating early score. Ito si Tubid. Who used to play for the Barangay Hinebra Gin Kings together with uh, Mark Kagiwa. Santos has jumper mula sa kaliwa. Bounces over the board and hits the support. Kaya babalik na ang bola sa Barangay Hinebra. One of the things that Petron will have to watch out for is, you know, they're on an 11-day break. They need to be able to come out and really stretch their muscles. Expect them to struggle in the first few minutes. 
great if they don't. Pag ikaw naman ang barangay, he never, you want to be able to start out strong. And Elliot, in order to that move of his, using his quickness and then finding Meyerhofer for the easy two. Ito naman si Meyerhofer's outside shot. Hindi pumasok. Elijah Millsap, ang very reliable import ng Petron. Kicks it to the side. Tubid. Trying to challenge the defense. A scoop pass to Junmar. Strong move by the big man. What a pass by Ronald Tubid. Going all the way to the gut of the defense and finally giving it up to the big man. Tenorio gets knocked. Saves the ball to Ellis. See Chris Ellis. Air Force Air if they call him. Also contributed to the victory nila against the Tropang Texters. A career high both in rebounds and points. 19 and 12. Ang ganda na pinakita niya para kay Coach Ato Agustin. Barangay Hinebra, they rely heavily on the three kings. That's Kagiwa, Tenorio, and Lohorn. But then all of a sudden, Chris Ellis coming up with that big game. That's why they're able to pull through against Stock and Checks. Fade away, ni Mark Kagiwa over the big man, Fajardo. He gets that first basket of the ball game para sa kanya. 4-3 ang ating score, lamang na barangay. May halong gigil din itong si Mark Kagiwa. For those uh, people watching, you gotta remember, Mark Kagiwa did foul out with two minutes to go in that ball game. At doon nga nagsabi si L.A. Tenorio na, don't worry, pare. Ako nang bahala, di ba? Eh, actually, he characterized himself as mayabang nung sinabi niya yun. But it's something that his teammates have come to expect from him. He has to take over uh, when Mark Kagiwa goes out. He ginawa na niya yun nung last conference, nung na-injure si Kagiwa. And, and I like what Asi Taolava said. LA is really the one keeping this team together. Because of his stellar play, he knows when to step back and give up the ball to guys like Mark Kagiwa and Dior Lohorn. But he also knows when he's supposed to take over. Offensive rebound, Meyerhofer passes to the driving Lohorn on the way up. Natamaan si Dior. Pupunta na naman siya sa linya para sa dalawang free throws. And this guy, Dior Lohorn, a partner. You know, not a flashy import. A guy who likes to post up, use his bulk inside. You know, you may not know it, but he averages 30 points a ball game more than this guy, Elijah Millsap, who's being talked about uh, by, by the people as one of the primary, one of the best imports in this competition. But very different how they play for each other's teams. Though yung numbers sila medyo malapit. Elijah Millsap, you know, has a lot more options to go to. Unlike Dior Lohorn, talagang exclusively nung simula sa loob. But slowly but surely, he's been able to extend out that shot, especially against Stock and Texas. He had a number of those outside shots. So gumaganda din yung conditioning at yung laro ni Lohorn. Millsap on the drive. First of them at the basket. He draws the foul. Pumunta naman sa linya ito si Elijah Millsap na nakasuot ng green shoes sa araw na ito. And uh, well, another matchup we really like to watch. So we'll be talking about LA Tenorio. Ang nakabantay naman sa kanya. Pareho ang numero nila sa kanilang uniform. It's Alex Cabagnot. Yan din naman ang, kung si LA nagpapatakbo ng opensa rito ng, uh, ng uh, white shirts, Cabagnot does the same thing on the other end. And he's also called a crunch time player. Ito si Cabagnot uh, in case it's a close game. A, num a number of times for Petron, he has bailed them out with those shots. In one conference, parang meron siyang atang apat o limang sunod-sunod na bailout shots for Petron. Norio called that play. Parang yung laban sa inyo inakit niya, yung letter L. They wanted to go down to Lohort. It was import versus import. At uh, si Elijah Millsap natawagan na kanyang unang personal. Two team fouls para sa Petron Blaze. Inbound goes to Chris Ellis. They want to go down to Lohorn. Ito na yung both top. Kick out to Ellis. Drives in. Stops from 10. Jumper niya wala yan. Good inside position. Mula kay Millsap for that rebound. Millsap on the move. He spins and kicks it out to Kabagnot in rhythm. The three. Wala yan. Kagiwa looking to attack. Nice pass inside to Lohorn. He lost the ball, got it back. Second try, wala. And Kabagnot rips it away. Miscommunication that time between Meyer Hoffer and Lohorn. Kabagnot sets from three once again. He missed a while ago, but he wouldn't miss on this second try. Took a little bit longer taking that second three point shot. Sinigurado. Natancha na niya, dun sa una eh. They go to Lohorn once again. There's a triple team. Somebody's open. Ellis on the drive off the glass. That's just pure athleticism for Chris Ellis. Tough than Lipa, you know? Tapos, uh, Chris Ellis, obviously, matasa kanyang mga kumpiansa sa pagkatang ganda ng laro niya against Token Tex to eliminate the uh, usual playoff uh, 
participant yung Trock and Tex. It's kind of weird to be dito sa second round o sa, sa playoff round natin na wala ang Trock and Texters. Constant sila for the past how many conferences. Pero ngayon na nga, nawala sila dahil nga sa magandang laro ng Barangay Ginebra. Ito ang Petron. They're up by three. Gusto nilang tagtagan yung lamang. Millsap. Against Kagiwa. He spins. Good defense from Mark Kagiwa. Forcing the pass to Kabagnot. He gets that ball to roll in. And it's a five-point lead para sa Petron Blaze Boofters. 13-8 to ang ating score. Mula sa Mall of Asia Arena, welcome back to the PBA. Panigurado ni Coach G. Abanilla sa labing isang araw na nagaantay sila sa kung sino makakalaban e nabalansin naman daw nila ang pagpapahinga at ang paghahanda. Hindi sila kinakalawang. They had quality practices in preparation for the quarterfinals. They're staying to be optimistic. Ang sabi nga nila, wala silang twice to beat advantage. Yan ang kanilang mindset. Ang pwedeng gawin ngayon e hindi na daw nila ipagpapagbukas pa. Sa matala para sa Barangay Hinebra, this is deja vu. They have been the same situation and last conference kung saan they had to be rain or shine twice and they did. Kaya ang sabi ni Coach Ato Augustin, walang imposible. If there's anything that the do or die games has done good for them, aba ayan daw ay ang ilabas ang pinakamagagaling sa kanilang mga manlalaro. Balik sa inyo Charlie and Dom. Maraming salamat Riza. Riza Diaz is the third person on this coverage tonight at fourth side. At well, tama naman yung sinabi ng uh, Petron. You just gotta keep working at it. Eh, kung di ka nakakalaro, you find time to rest and balance it. And they came out pretty well early dito sa ating laro. But Barangay trying to come back. Tunira ng tres si LA. No goal. Fajardo with a rebound. And Millsap dribbling violation. Kitang-kita natin yun. Stifling him. Ito si LA Tenorio. Right at that center line part na he stepped backwards. Barangay Hinebra in the first few minutes of this first quarter already with five assists so moving that basketball well and five different guys have scored for Barangay Hinebra for Petron naman leading scorer itong si Alex Kabagnot with eight alam mo itong twice to beat this advantage twice to win uh, na kailangan gawin ng Barangay Hinebra in the past they've been there ten times partner uh, they forced a game to five of those ten times and went on to actually win it three of those ten times so may history na nga Itong Barangay Hinebra is a pretty good percentage considering you have a twice to beat uh, task to accomplish. They've done it three times and forced the game to five times out of ten. So, they don't experience na itong Barangay Hinebra sa ganitong sitwasyon. Well, they're very comfortable in these types of situations, itong Barangay Hinebra. You know, a lot of it also has to do with the big heart that they show. And you fans, nakakatulong yan when you have a disadvantage like that. Because what you do is... You know, you want to just keep the game close and then be able to steal it in the end. Nabanggit mo yung fans na yun. Alam naman natin, binatawag na sixth man ng Barangay Hinebra fans when they start chanting. In fact, kanina sa Twitter, may nabasa nga ako, isang uh, taga-Petroniverse na nagsasabi, you know, egging on all the Petron fans to come over tonight and try to match yung ganyang epekto ng fans ng Barangay Hinebra. So there is a big crowd tonight cheering for Petron as well. As Lohorn is inside on the way up, natamaan na naman. It looks like... Paul, uh, Elijah Millsap reached in. That's a second personal foul for Millsap. Caught reaching in. So two free throws for Dior Lowhorn. Who got a lot of flack early, partner, as the import of Barangay Hinebra. There, were, uh, there was talk that he would be one of the casualties early on, but they've stuck with him, and here they are uh, in the quarterfinal round. Well, one thing about Dior Lowhorn, he's been very consistent both on points and pagdating dun sa kanyang rebounding that inside presence that they're looking for na ibibigay nitong si Dior Lohor gets those two free throws wasa apat ang lamang ng Petron 15-11 Kabagnot Tenorio pa rin ang matchup at the point Kabagnot goes to Arwin Santos jumper ganda ng interference mula sa depensa ng Barangay Hinebra on that play eto na Barangay gusto makalapit Tenorio Wanted to kick it to Lohorn, but Kabagot anticipated up ahead to Arwin Santos. Wanted to pass it to Millsap. Ang ganda naman ang depensa ni Chris Ellis. What an effort to run down and stop that fast break. When you talk about the effort, Chris Ellis was able to stop that fast break. Now he has all five guys to be able to help him out on defense. And to Millsap. Kicks to Kramer. Kramer has that outside shot and he hits it from the top of the key. Doug Kramer. Found a home here sa Petron. They've been using him for that task to get rebounds, but occasionally, nakashoot din yan. Well, Doug Kramer has fit in perfectly. He's 
sistema ni Coach G Abanilla. Kasi hindi siya nangaagaw ng tira. He's there playing defense on the import, getting those rebounds, nakikipagpalita ng katawan. And just working so hard and getting rewarded by the minutes. Nakakuha ng konting espasyo. Itong si Dior Lohan to hit that jumper. To bring his team back within four. Very physical matchup. Nakikita natin yung Kramer Lohan na yan. So we'll watch that as this game goes on. Shot clock did not reset. Dito mama sa ring yung tira. Lassiter. Jumper from the right side is too strong. Kramer fighting for it. Pero... Tapik palabas ni Doug. Ball will go back to the Gin Kings. Slowly pinapasok na ni Coach G. Abanilla ang kanyang bench. And this is the strength of Petron. You know, they have a lot of guys you know, multiple, who can play multiple positions plus of equal ability. Tama yun. At nandiyan na naman yung combination ng Lux Lassiter. Together again. Starting out with the Gilas uh, team. Tapos ngayon, dito na sila sa Petron magkasama. Millsap kicks it out. Doug Kramer travels. Loft is putting on that play. Ito si Millsap. Nakikita mo, Doms, every time he tries to drive, grabe yung challenge na ginagawa ng Hinebra, forcing him to pass that ball away and look for someone else to score it. You gotta credit the coaching staff of Barangay Hinebra. Doon sa ginawa nila against Talk and Text, ginulat nila with that zone defense na gulo yung, uh, na diskarel, yung opensa nitong Talk and Text sa simula at simula pa lang. And then in the end game, Barangay Hinebra was able to knock down those all-important shots led by L.A. Tenorio. Tenorio, nasa lane. Bounce back to Lohorn. Goes up strong. Gets another two inside. Nakakuha pa ng foul. So, pupunta siya sa linya para sa isang bonus free throw. And you don't want this guy to get the ball that deep under the basket, Dom. Well, he's really strong. It's very difficult to stop him down low. You know, going back to my point about crediting the Barangay Hinebra Jin Kings coaching staff, they've also realized how effective your Lohorn can be. So, they're setting him up in positions, in spots that he's comfortable with. At uh, dahil doon sa 3-point play, isa na lang ang lamang ng Petron. At the 3.44 mark ng ating first quarter. Lassiter, gusto makalibre. Stepin kicks it out to Lutz. Jumper is long. The bounce goes to Tenorio. They're speeding this ball game up. Pero nakababa ang depensa ng Petron. Tenorio in the lane. The short shot. Wala yan. Lohorn follows it up inside. Pero may foul na napinituan itong uh, referee natin at the baseline. Mukhang napaganda pa yun na tawagan ng foul ito si Chris Lutz. Because that would have been an easy tip-in for Lohorn. Nagpalit ng tao itong si Coach Gia Banilla. Alex Cabagnot goes out and the Chico Lanete, the veteran point guard, is there to back him up. Kagiwa. Driving in the lane. Off balance shot. He gets a foul. He'll go to the line para for the long free throws. One of the things that also happened to Petron, Charlie, ang nabalita ako. Ang kasakit din, ha? Ibang mga player dito sa Petron. But luckily for them, meron silang 11-day break. So, yun nga, nagkahawaan, pero ang kagandahan din naman, natapos din yung bug that was going around in the Petron Blaze Boosters team. Enough time to recuperate, you know, yung 11 days na break na yun para sa kanila. Well, hindi nga break kasi nga nag-practice nga sila ng husto nung panahon na yun, gaya ng kunento ni Riza kanina. Sagiwa, Hits the two free throws, giving the lead to his team, 18 to 17, 318. So I think first quarter. Back to the action here at the Mall of Asia Arena. Asa Petron ang ball, the pass inside to Doug Kramer goes up. Good defense from behind. Ito si Mark Kagiwa, pero meron dang foul sabi ng ating baseline referee and. Si Doug will go to the line for two free throws and uh, well they lost the lead to sa huling possession Doms on the free throws of Kagiwa gusto bawiin ngayon ito But Doug Kramer you know you talk about intensity usually when you talk about Doug you know he's solid he's a good defensive player but the intensity that he brings not just during games but even in practice from what I've heard dun sa mga kakampi niya ibang klase yan that's a good thing because he makes you work even in practice Ay, grabe talaga yan. This guy works for positioning underneath. Alam natin, undersized siya. At his position, he plays sometimes center, power forward. You know, a lot of guys bigger than he is and heavier than he is. Pero he holds his own. Then Oreo, they left him open from three. Wala yan. Lohorn gets it and goes up for the putback. Strong move mula kay Dior Lohorn. You know, Doug Kramer was trying to box him out. But Dior Lohorn, just so big and strong, able to take away that position from Kramer. Double digits na si Lohorn dito sa ating first quarter. Ten points na para sa kanya. Lassiter. 
Driving to the basket, he goes up. Too strong on that lay-in. Ito si Air Force Ellis. He's got some ball handling skills. Nakita naman natin yun. He won the skills challenge. Or he played really well. Kung ginawa niya yun. Ito si Lohorn. The kick over to Lasseter. Lasseter running. He'll challenge. Kick it out to Lutz. Nag-gansay si Lutz yung sa tira niya. But Bonete says he'll take it. Wala yan. Tenorio. Didn't see Millsap coming from the weak side. Pasa pa loob kay Doug Kramer. Minadali. Ang hook shot. And even if they're missing, that ball movement for Petron is just tremendous. Ito na naman ang Baragay Hinebra. Up by one. The hook pass to Lohor. Nabaka na naman. Ng Petron Glacier. And Lanetes throws in for that easy layup to give his team the lead back. 21 to 20, a minute and a half remaining. Not a good sign that off that turnover, nobody from Barangay Hinebra even attempted to stop that fast break ng Petron. So, dalawang beses na party na pick off yung bookmark na ginagawa nito si Mark Kagiwa. So, na-anticipate na ng Petron yan. Ellis, itong labanan nito si Chris Lutz. Five seconds shot clock, the pass inside to Lohorn, meron foul. That's gonna be a side court. And then free throw set, penalty na itong Petron plays. Penalty situation. So, si Lohar, alam na niya, nakatayo na siya doon sa linya. And uh, he'll get two more free throws. And Lohorn, early in this ball game, Dom, si in-establish na niya yung kanyang pwesto dyan sa ilalim. You know, he told everybody, I'm gonna work down low. So, you gotta try to stop me here. Well, definitely, he's been working hard down low. The key also for Barangay Hinebra, you look at your Lohorn, hindi pa nagpapahinga yan this first quarter. It'll be key also how they will pace itong si Dior Lohorn. 12 points, 4 rebounds na para kay Lohorn. 1 minute and 5 seconds remaining here in the first quarter of this quarterfinal matchup between the first and eighth seeds. Kramer, hook shot, going away from the basket. Offline yung tira, JJ Helterbrand handling, making the 3, going down to Lohorn once again. He takes the jumper, it's short, rebound. Millsap na pumulot. Millsap sees an opening, goes all the way in. Nakadrop pa ng foul contra kay Willie Wilson. So a chance for a three-point play. When Baraka never eventually caught up, nung nangyari dito sa Petron Blaze Boosters, they weren't attacking the basket on the fast break. They were settling for the outside shots. At ang nagiging problema, they weren't knocking them down. Inumpleto ni Paul Millsap ang kanyang three-point opportunity. Balik sa kalamangan itong Petron. Dalawa, 24-22. Lohorn. At yun, yung pagpangga niya rito kay Doug Kramer. Natawagan ng foul itong si Doug Kramer. And he's showing the referee, I was just standing my ground. Pangatlong personal na ni Doug Kramer. Yeah, so that's a development. He's one of those guys who can at least put up some resistance contra kay Dior Lohorn. And in that first game against Barangay Hinebra, Doug Kramer played spended basketball, 17 points. He was judged best player of that ball game. Pinasok na muli ni uh, Gia Banilla Ito si June Mar Fajardo Who started off strong in this game Scoring three early points uh, Mintis ang free throw ni Lohorn Isa lang ang lamang ng Petron Two second differential game clock Naka shot clock So halos last second shot time na para sa Petron Elijah Millsap with the ball He makes his move Loses the ball on the way up Barakael receives Help the brother got number they go to Tenorio, who challenges the defense and draw a foul. Chris Lutz, ayo maniwala, na natawagan siya ng foul, but our referee calls that. That's referee Peter Balao. So, dalawang free throws para kay Tinyente. Yung iba, tinatawag na siyang general ngayon. Ano ba talagang ranko nitong si L.A. Tenorio? <laughs> Parang mas apt yung general eh. Ang general. Oo, oh, siya na talagang may dala dito sa barangay Hinebra. It's the first to tie it up. 3.1 seconds ang nalalabi dito sa ating first quarter. It's been quite fast-paced. The first 12 minutes of action. Fajardo to Lanete. He looks up at the clock, kicks it over to Lutz. He takes the jumper. That doesn't go after the first 12 minutes ng ating laro. Nakalamang na, Barangay Hinebra. 25 to 24. 
They were down early, pero nakahabol. And Dior Lohorn establishing his position inside to give his team a one-point lead.